Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boats. Today we're looking at a Four Winds V258. It is a 2009 model, but it's basically like a new boat. It has only 25 hours on the clock. It's one order from you, it's virtually unused, and it's in immaculate condition, as you would expect. It's fitted with a Mercruiser 5 liter uh, MPI, 260 horsepower steering drive. Comes complete with a twin axle UK spec road trailer. And it's got a great spec. This boat is, it is an, an entry level sports cruiser, so it's got four berths downstairs, it's got a separate heads compartment, a galley, but it's a bit different to the usual, um, you know, Bayliners, Sea Rays, all the common ones you see around. There's not too many of these four winds um, on the market in the UK here. So if you're looking for something that is a great little cruiser, well built, and it's going to stand out from the crowd, this, uh, this V258 is well worth a look. Four winds would be a premium builder in the US and their boats, they look the part and the fit and finish construction and things is very very good quality. The first thing that strikes you about this, this example is the, the black and pewter coloured hull. Really striking hull, nice big white colour band and then with the, this, I don't know, I'm calling it pewter, maybe it's like, it's like a beige or brown but it's got this colour band on the deck and the matching stripe then in the hull bottom as well and it, uh, it, it tapers back to a, you know, a lovely little point at the back and it's, just, it's a very sleek looking boat and like I said it's going to stand out from the, from the crowd in the marina because it's a pretty unusual colour scheme. Condition wise with only 25 hours on the clock and very little use you would expect it to be good and it is. There's no damage, I couldn't find any damage uh, around the boat. The gel coat's in very good condition, all the deck fixtures and things you know, right from the graphics, the four winds lettering, to the cleats and the bow rails and the rub rail, everything is perfect. Um, one thing I should point out, which you maybe notice here for the more eagle-eyed among you, this we've got a bit of a dirty stain here. Now what we did, we've, we had the boat uh, cleaned and antifoiling, and the guys forgot to clean this off before we put on the antifoiling paint. Now the, the, the rest of the boat does need antifoiling, we've just cleaned up the sides and the front. Um, because it's due, it was in the water this season, it is due a coat of antifoiling paint, but we, uh, we didn't want to go and then clean this off because it would just, you know, wreck the paint here, but I have clipped the responsible part in around the year, and it won't happen again, but I just want to point this out. If anybody's looking and wondering what this is, the guys forgot to clean that off before we put on the antifoiling paint. Apart from that, everything else is, is pristine on the boat. Again, walking down the starboard side of the boat, Everything is in, is in really good shape, no damage, no scrapes, no marks or anything that, to, for me to point out. Um, still a good, really good shine to the gel coat. Like I said, you can see we're refreshing up the antifoiling paint here. And um, it's, just, it's a really nice looking boat. We're just back from the water test, so you can see we do have some water spots and things on the boat. Um, we're just having the time to, to dry it down, we're trying to work through a big backlog of boats to advertise the moment. But it, uh, it is it is a really nice shape. The four winds lettering, the V two five eight model identifier. They're nice domed chrome letters. All the little fixtures and fittings from the GPS antenna mount to the, the the fuel fill point to the rub rail insert. Everything is stainless steel and it's all uh, in perfect shape. It's still nice bright. Nothing's tarnished. The, the rub rail doesn't have a single mark in it. You know the, the boat has just it's never been uh, abused. I think this boat has a really attractive stern. It sort of tapers in a little bit from the front, um, so it's nice, neat proportions, um, and it's very practical as well. So it's got a molded in uh, swim platform, full width of the boat, and um, it's all molded non skin uh, surface on top. We've got a really deep, this is a feature all four winds come with like really deep boarding ladders. Um, so it's a four step boarding ladder, it goes very deep in the water, so it's very easy to climb in and out of the boat from the water if you're swimming and things. We've also got a ski tool point in here at the back as well. This boat does have enough performance to pull. Um, it'll pull you up on two skis. It probably won't pull a mono ski out of the water, but it will pull you up on two skis. It'll pull water toys and wakeboarders and all that sort of stuff with ease. Um, so this is really good, you know, area for getting the skis off and on. You can tow from here, so the rope isn't, you know, coming from uh, over the back of the platform and stuff as well. So you can have a, a towable or something tied on there and still you know, have your tow rope pulling the wakeboard or whatever. So it's all well set up that way. And then condition wise again it's perfect. I, we always take a close look at the stern corners on these boats because they're very susceptible to getting damaged in and around marinas. This one is completely on mark. There's not a single 
single scratch or, scratch or anything on the rub rail and it's the same story over this side. The corners are in uh, perfect shape. A couple of other quick things to point out on the transom. One is we've got um, a marina water hookup point there so you can you know, plumb the water supply into the boat. So if you're using the boat as a bit of a caravan, staying on it for the weekend and stuff, you can have fresh water supply plumbed in there. Uh, we've also got a, a little hot and cold uh, transom shower just in the walk through there. So if you you know, want to hot wash yourself down after a swim, you can do that easily. And then huge big transom locker and a nice handrail across the back we'll take a look at in, uh, in just a minute. The boat's fitted with a Mercruiser 5 litre MPI steering drive. It makes 260 horsepower and it's matched up to this Bravo 3 uh, drive. So first of all, the condition of this is extremely good. This is the original factory paint finish on it. You can see the boat was in the water. It was in fresh water. Uh, this season, so there's a little bit of growth to get on it here. We sort of cleaned most of it off. It starts to get very footery to try and take it all off, but this is not corrosion or anything. This is just literally a little bit of growth. But you can see here the condition of the underlying paint underneath is perfect. There's no corrosion anywhere on the drive. The props are in very nice condition. They haven't been damaged at all. These are the original props. They're 22 inch pitch. Um, the anodes are still in pretty good shape. You probably will want to change them for next season. And depending where you're going to, you might need to put on uh, seawater anodes because she has freshwater ones on at the minute but generally speaking this is in very very nice condition you can see a little bit of water coming out of the bottom because we've literally just come back from the from the water chest but um, no oil leaks no fluid leaks things running really good the gimbal burn is nice and quiet the bellows are in good condition like i said it is a 2009 model it wasn't launched until 2011 um, so it wasn't sold till 2011 and it has only done 25 hours so you know, and it spent most of that time out of the water as well on the trailer. So this boat is in super condition. Just to show you inside the transom locker, it's good. It's good, it's good size. It's going to swallow up all your fenders. Um, these are all coming with the boat. You also got your shore power leak and stuff in there as well, and it's easy to access from you know either side of the uh, the transom. Stepping on board this boat, it has the look and feel of a much bigger cruiser. Um, for a 26 foot boat they pack in lots of accommodation, it's a very very good layout and the fit and finish is really top notch, the, the quality of all the materials, and the fixtures and fittings, it really is very very good indeed. Um, I personally love the look of this beige upholstery, it's like it's buying up the dates, you know, so you've got the beige upholstery, upholstery, we've got like teak effect carpet which is a pretty unusual thing but it, I think it works quite well and um, it's sort of imitation, you know, it imitates the look of a teak deck. Nice beige brown colour, little white pinstriping through it. And I think that combined with all the little stainless steel touches around here, the nice uh, beige table and stuff, it really does, um, it looks the part, I think it really does. It looks nice and fresh and modern and different than your usual sort of white and blue upholstery. So in terms of the layout, it's very practical. We've got a nice uh, walk through from the transom, through this uh, open and transom gate. You come in at sort of all one level here. We've got a lovely big uh, lounge area here at the stern, so we can fit probably three adults across the, the bench at the, at the, at the back. We could probably fit another two here behind the helm seat, and we've got a decent sized table. So if you're sitting having drinks or a picnic or whatever, you know you've, you've got plenty of uh, room uh, to do that. We've got a nice little entertainment bar, sort of wet bar area here on the port side. We've got a pressurized um, tap for cold water sink cup holders and, we, and we've got a big cool box stores and underneath that and then we've got a great helm position on the boat we'll take a closer look at this in a minute but it's a really well appointed helm with uh, two full-size seats uh, two sort of full-size adult seats and then we've got the offset uh, cabin access on the port side as well which is uh, pretty unusual most of these boats they have the, the cabin entry door on, in the middle I personally really like the uh, the offset layout because it gives you much more room um, downstairs, it gives you a wider sort of like companionway as you come down into the cabin and you also get more room for the helm seat too so um, but yeah very very well appointed and condition obviously you'd expect 25 hours in the clock it's perfect. This seating area around the around the, the table in the, in the cockpit is really good you've got a nice high back across the transom and it feels like you're sitting down inside the boat even whenever you're underway because you've got that high you know the elevated helm position and a high um, windscreen surround, you don't get buffeted by the wind too much back here, so you can sit and have a, have a conversation even whenever you're, you're underway. So again, it's lovely and spacious, you're not having to squeeze past the table or anything, and uh, a very, very sociable layout, 
um, and really comfortable seats and you know everything, nice feel to the upholstery and stuff. This seating area also converts into a big sun pad or it could even double up as a, as a bed for kids or something overnight. Um, but it's, it's, it's really easy to do. There's, this, there's a filler piece goes in here and then you can, you can also pull this, uh, this uh, seat bench out to make like a recliner as well. So if you're sitting, you know, with like a bit of a chaise lounge. So that there's a really neat touch. And the, uh, the filler cushion for here just stores down in the cabin. I think the helm position on this boat is, is great. It's, uh, it feels like a, you know, if you're sitting this helm, you'd think you're probably driving a 30 or 32 foot boat. It's a nice big size. The binnacle comes up high, so all the gauges are right in your sort of line of sight. The compass is also right in your line of sight, and the uh, the Raymarine coloured chart plotter, which is a, an RC435 plotter, again, sort of right in your line of sight, but at the same time, you don't lose any visibility out over the front of the boat. I'm in a sitting position here, really clear visibility through the screen. Even whenever the boat's getting up on the plane, you, uh, you don't lose sight of the horizon. And if you want to, if you're pulling skiers or you're coming into a jetty or something, you can always just flip up the bolster here and you can, you've got great visibility out over the, the uh, front of the boat. The other really good thing is that the helm position is, is slightly elevated from the rest of the cockpit. So um, it's quite good. Normally I don't really like that because it, it creates a sort of tripping hazard in the cockpit. But because this is a twin wide helm position and you're sort of coming out of a little a little sort of companion way there up on it you're you're not you're not going to trip up you know whenever you're sort of hopping up hopping up here and stuff but um, the benefit is that you get a really commanding helm position great visibility out of the front of the boat great visibility over the back if you're pulling skiers and uh, it also gives you more room downstairs in the in the aft cabin as well which we'll, we'll we'll check out in a minute in terms of the equipment on board it's very well it's very well spec so we've got a full range of marine instrumentation here you can see on the on the the taco digital it's a taco analog taco with a digital hour meter and it's currently showing 25.1 hours which is like the, the the boat's not even run in properly um all the uh, you've got your engine temperatures oil pressures battery volts we've got a speedo here um, we've got a digital depth gauge safari a digital depth gauge fuel gauge trim gauge we've got a uh, raymarine like I said, the Raymarine RC435 color chart plotter. It's a nice high quality, um, very high spec unit. Um, we've got all our 12 volt switch panels here for blower motors, uh, builds, pumps, horns, wipers. Um, every, it goes without saying, everything on this boat is working. We've also got um, nice little blue LED courtesy lights dotted throughout the, uh, throughout the cockpit and they're also on the stern of the boat as well, so they're, they're, they're like little underwater, well they're not under the water, they're just above the water, but you've got these little atmospheric lights, um, the same little blue LEDs across the stern, which really stand, makes the boat look the part after dark. The boat's fitted with an electric engine hatch as well, we've got trim tabs control, navigation lights, um, we've got a remote control for the Sony stereo, the head unit lives downstairs, but we've got remote control from here so you can control the, uh, you know, change CDs, control the volume and stuff like that. We've got a Raymarine, uh, DSC VHF radio. It's a uh, Ray 49E. So um, that's a good safety feature to have on board. And then we've also got a remote control searchlight on the front of the boat. So you take a look out the front. Really good. It's a, a go light striker. Really uh, top of the range searchlight. So if you're coming into the marina after dark or um, an unfamiliar harbour, it's a really good thing to have. So like I said, everything's in really good working order. I love the steering wheel on the boat. It, again, it feels like it's, uh, it's off a much bigger sort of cruiser. It's leather wrapped, little, little chrome effects and stuff on it. Um, it's a nice chunky wheel and it's also got a five position tilt on it as well. And it's, uh, it's a higher end unit than what, you're used, what we're used to seeing in this, this sort of boat. So again, it's just, it, there's a nice theme, you know, everything's really well done. Even the little gloss wood trim, you know, it's wood effect trim. Um, and the little contrast and color panels, the little silver color panels here on the switches and stuff, all that just contributes to giving us both a really high-end feel and it's, um, it's achieved that very well. In terms of the actual handling and things, um, throttle levers, well, you know, conveniently located. Everything's padded around here, so you've got a, an armrest and stuff. Um, you can, it's very easy to get, uh, there's full adjustability on the seat and with the steering wheel, it's very easy to get a comfortable steering position and the boat goes really well. Like I said, we're just back from the water test. It jumps up on the plane in really no time. 
Um, you, you do have the trim tabs here so they can help to keep the boat on, the, on plane at lower speeds and also can correct the running angle if you're you know, running a crosswind or something. Um, but the boat will cruise quite comfortably down to sort of 12, 13 knots, as low as that. Uh, so if you want to just sort of potter along on the plane at a fairly efficient speed, you can do that. And if you want to open the taps, a top, the top speed, in her, I, the, top, the, the fastest I got out of her today was 33 knots which is almost 40 miles an hour. So, you know, it motors on uh, really well whenever you want it to, and it has plenty of performance for pulling skiers and stuff. The engine is the 5 liter MPI Maricruiser. It's tried and tested, well proven. And this one is, it's an immaculate condition. Like I said, it's not even running with only 25 hours on the clock. I just want to point out the CE plate up here as well. Um, so this obviously is a genuine UK boat. It's fully CE certified and it's VAT paid in the UK as well. Um, but the, the thing to note is that she's a Category B boat, which is a testament to the build quality. You know, they're, they're well put together, um, and that would be a step up from your usual Category Cs that you would see in a lot of these uh, sports cruisers. So, um, yeah, it's always encouraging to see uh, higher categories ratings on, on this type of boat. Engine access in the boat could not be simpler. You don't have to move any cushions or seats or anything at all. You literally just push the button on the dash and uh, it's an electric hatch lift. With the hatch up, you can see we've got really good access around the, 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 the motor. So it's a Meracruiser 5 liter MPI. It's only 25 hours on the clock. You can see the bilges are nice and clean in the boat. Um, it's, again, it's done very, very little. The engine's not even running. but performing really good, starting first turn of the key, there's no faults or anything, we plugged in the laptop to check it out, uh, there's no faults, uh, verified the hours, um, just to point out a couple of things, over on the port side there you can see that we've got a chlorifier which is hooked up to the uh, to the engine as well so you can get hot hot water from either running the, running the motor or plugged in the shore power with the immersion heater. We've got a twin battery set up in this boat as well so you can preserve it, uh, one battery for for starting the engine if you're sitting on lights and things overnight um, and yeah just generally speaking there's good service access around the engine all the fluid levels are really good and the motor has just been serviced as well um, the owner wanted to make sure that the, the engine was serviced and, and run really good for prior to sale so the, it's just had a full engine service including changing spark plugs uh, change the gearbox oil oil filter fuel filter um, and it's uh, it's ready to go to the water next season
The access out of the foredeck is, um, is very good. Again, another benefit of having the, the cabin door off to the port side. We've got two big wide steps up onto, the, um, up onto this, this deck level. Everything's molded and non-skid. We've got this opening windscreen section and it gives us good access out onto the front of the boat. It's all uh, molded non-skid out there. The guardrails come up nice and high. It's easy to get out to the anchor um, and things for, for you know, setting the anchor if you're stopping for a picnic or something during the day and you know you can quite comfortably throw down a couple of towels and sunbathe out there as well. So it's, um, it's all very good. And just the condition and quality up here is, is excellent. You know, these, these are nice chunky stays on the windscreen. Got a really decent quality hinge here as well, not your usual calibre item. And even the, the magnet there for you know, working as a stay whenever the, the windscreen is open is a, is a much chunkier, you, you very seldom find magnets actually, usually it's just a little plastic clip, but that's a proper little chrome uh, magnet, so it positively locks the, this, this little windscreen section so it's not banging around whenever you're underway with the windscreen open. So all those little, there's lots of little details like that right the way throughout the boat, even like the little cabin access door here, um, all the clips and catches are in perfect condition. We've got this little mosquito screen, so you can, if you're down there during the day, you can have this closed just with the mosquito screen there, it gives a bit of flow through of air through the cabin, but you're not going to get any bugs in there. Um, and then at night time, you just close this up, the two doors clip together, and uh, you know, for, for extra security and stuff. Um, again, all the hinges, all the runners, everything is in, is in really perfect condition. Coming down into the cabin then, you really see the benefit of having the, the, the access door, the cabin entry door offset uh, to the port side. Gives you much more room in the companionway down here. It also gives you a more spacious um, access into the, the aft cabin as well. Um, and it's just, I, I, I really like it, you know, creates, um, sort of creates a nicer feel in these cabins I always find. The, the layout apart from that is pretty typical. We've got a, a galley unit on the port side. We've got a V-berth um, seating arrangement, so a nice big wraparound seating area, converts into a berth overnight. The aft cabin, like I said, and then we've got the heads compartment over on the starboard side, so um, we'll just take a closer look around here, what we've got now. We've got a nice little compact galley. Um, we've got hot and cold running water here, a nice deep sink. This is all proper Corian countertops as well, so it's uh, the best of best quality stuff. We've got a single burner alcohol electric stove, microwave here, with a storage area up here as well. All the joinery works really good condition, obviously. And then we've got a big refrigerator um, underneath. Again, none of this stuff looks like it has ever been used. Um, it's all effectively brand new. And it's, it's all in perfect working order as well. Um, in terms of storage and things, we've got storage on the counter and behind this little uh, recess here. We've got storage up top. We've got a couple of little other cubby holes. This is a little um, dedicated uh, container for you know rubbish container in there. So as you can see, the the access into the aft cabin is really good. Like I said, we've got this, um, and it's quite a private little cabin as well. Whenever you screen the, the curtain over, and you get full privacy in there. But it's a full size double bed. Um, there's a couple of overhead dome lights in there. We've got a little opening um, opening port light to give uh, sort of natural light and ventilation out into the cockpit there. And there's a couple of decent sized storage compartments back here as well. So a little hanging locker in here. We've got another storage compartment just in, in the other end. Um, and that is, I mean, on this type of boat, generally speaking, the aft cabin tends to be a place where you, you know, get the kids in out of the way and, and you know, the adults would sleep in the in the forward berth. But on this boat, I think this could rival the forward berth as being the, the you know the berth of choice. It's it's really spacious and it's because again because the, the helm position is elevated, the headroom in there is, is a good bit higher than you would get on most of these 24 to 26 foot um, sports cruisers. So I really like it and condition wise it's perfect. I mean th this cabin still has that sort of new boat smell about it. I'd say it's been very very seldom uh, used by the by the current owner. The wraparound seating up at the forward part of the cabin is again very nicely appointed. The upholstery is top notch, it's really good. Nice real wood table and it's a decent size. You could easily sit sort of four adults around here for a meal or drinks. And um, the, you know the seat backs and things in the backrests are at a decent height. It's a nice comfortable uh, place to spend time. We've also got plenty of more storage up here. So there's storage underneath the seats. Um, we've got sort of this recessed area behind the, the seat backs where you could fire 
kit bags and stuff and then we've got um, shelves up on at a higher level up on both sides here for for carrying all your little odds and ends and you know first aid kits and all the little knickknacks you need to have on board um, again condition wise it's all perfect looks virtually unused there's not a single mark anywhere in the uh, in the interior of this boat and the specs really nice as well we've got this uh, big screen TV if you want to come around and have a look at it so this uh, this is a factory install uh, TV DVD player as well um, and it's perfect for watching films you know after dark or if, you know during the day if you want the kids to can come down here and put on their DVDs and stuff um, and it's not the usual postage stamp size TV as well it's actually a pretty decent size that one so um, it's 12 volts so it'll work wherever you know even if you're away from the arena as well so um, yeah really really nice here we've got this opening um, deck hatch for sort of added natural light and ventilation we've got this little mirror up the front again all the woodwork this this is like a nice velour sort of trim and and, and headliner material around here the little you know the chrome ringed uh, down lighters and stuff throughout the cabin it's just all really really nice well appointed uh, has a nice quality feel to it this is the paperwork uh, the original um, owner's manuals pack and things for the boat so we've got all the paperwork we've got the original build sheets here as I said the boat's one owner from you we have the original VAT invoice as well the boat C certified and everything it's it's um, in terms of the history of the boat it's, it's impeccable the heads compartment is fully enclosed it's in, uh, in on the starboard side here um, the light does need a bulb in it at the minute I'm afraid so we it's a little bit dark in here, but you can see it's a good sized head compartment. We've got a proper sea toilet, a little tank monitor gauge uh, there, so you can monitor the level of your waste tank. That uh, There is a macerator on board as well for emptying, emptying the contents of the waste tank overboard. We've got a little opening port light there. Um, we've got a little uh, storage area above the sink, proper sink. The shower head, or the tap there, lifts up to form a shower head, and the full unit is obviously lined and drained. Um, a little waterproof uh, storage compartment in there as well so it does double up as a shower compartment and uh, it's a good size you know with plenty of elbow room you can you could quite comfortably have a shower on board there so uh, again condition wise apart from the bulb everything's perfect so that's our 2009 four winds v258 cruiser i hope you'll agree it is and it's just like new it's in really immaculate condition you couldn't fault the boat um, condition wise it, it's you know there's, there's there's literally there's nothing for me to point out in terms of defects or scratches or scra scrapes or anything which is um, which is great and it's only got 25 hours on the clock so the motors barely run in um, although it's a 2009 model it didn't sell until I think it was May 2011 um, so really if you want to look at it that way it's like a three-year-old boat it's got 25 hours it's spent most of its life on the trailer out of the water um, and it's fully serviced and ready to go for the season. You have nothing to do with it. Comes complete with full camper covers and things as well, which we have pictures of. So if you check out the pictures at the bottom of the page, you'll see the boat with all the covers up. Um, and I really like it. I think it's a great alternative to the sort of more the more common boats that you see out there with the the, the, the beautiful black and pewter color scheme I'll combined with like the beige interior. It's buying up the date styling really nice colors and it, it definitely is going to stand out you know in the marina um, and it, you know if, if you didn't tell people you, they'd probably think you're, you're going to think you bought a brand new boat but you're going to make a huge saving on the price of a, of a new one really competitively priced the owners they just haven't they, they bought it thinking they were going to use it lots and it, it didn't really happen you can tell yourself there with 25 hours on the clock and they just haven't been getting the use out of it that they wanted so they, they, they're keen to move it on and they've, they have priced it competitively in order to try and get a, a quick sale so it's a really good spec comes complete with the trailer the trailer is virtually immaculate it's only been used a few times the boat spent the last season in fresh water and uh, the trailer's really only ever been in and out of fresh water as well so um, the whole thing's in great shape it's very easy it's going to be very easy to transport this boat um, to the UK, mainland UK or throughout Europe. So if you're looking um, and thinking about how you might be able to get a boat like this home, um, I, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised with how, how cost effective the transport on a, on, a, on a package like this will be because it's on its own trailer. So hopefully uh, you like it as much as I do. If you think it, it could be the boat for you, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just give me a call or drop me an email or you can fill out the callback request form on the website and I'll call you at a time that's convenient. 
Thank you for watching.